Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you had asked me a couple months ago about getting some small fish, what some people call nano fish or community fish, uh, things like that, I would have said, no, I'm not interested. I, I, like, I like larger, big fish, as you can see here. There's some good sized fish here. Compared to my hand, kind of get the size of these. Some good, good sized fish there. But interestingly enough, um, over the last few months, I've actually become um, pretty attached to some small fish. And it's kind of a surprise to me that I would get that, uh, that attached to them. I'll show you what I mean. On the way there, here's some more large fish. Look at these viejas. Nicaragua in there, three nice sized viejas. Those are pretty big fish, and I like and I like big fish that interact with me that I can um, hand feed sometimes. You know, I just like the just the interaction and being able to uh, really see the detail. And so I always thought that small fish were just not for me. But here, let's, let's take a look here at a different tank, and I'll show you what uh, what's going on. It all started when I got this tank from Heiger. You can see the name right there on the light. It's an all-in-one tank called, uh, I think it's called a Horizon. It's about eight gallons. And with the lighting, there's a lot of glare here, but you can see it has a built-in background. It has built-in um, filtration back here. It's a filter with a spray bar. The only thing it's missing is a heater very nice LED light that comes with it and uh, I think it's a total of about eight gallons. I decided to make it into a um, into a planted tank. Here's the heater I got for it. It's a flat heater so it'll go on the side wall. It'll be barely noticeable on the side and then I got some of this fluorite black from uh, Seacam which I hear is good. Good for a planted tank. So I'll be using that on this little Heiger. So that's what started all the, uh, all the interest in getting a small fish. That smaller tank was gonna go in my wife's office, kind of be in the background when she tutors. She's an online tutor, and we thought it'd be kind of cool to have a, an aquarium in the background that the kids could see while she was tutoring. But after we tested it up there, she didn't like the look of it. So um, that kind of derailed that plan but I decided to go forward anyway and uh, picked up some plants and some small fish and I put them into what was normally a quarantine tank that's behind me and I'll show it to you. This little five gallon has been serving as the uh, quarantine and hospital tank because my 29 gallon that would normally be my hospital and quarantine tank is being used for plants and small fish. And what I have in here, you all go around the other way so you can see it from a better angle. I love the South American, Central American fish in this tank. Look at that electric blue acara. Got two of them in here, absolutely beautiful. Some baby green tares, red spotted gold severums, two of them. These chocolates are just getting beautiful. Two of these chocolates, they're from Mexico. There's a couple red-headed tapajos in there. Anyway, love the fish in this tank. Never a problem. But if we go around the corner here, here's what normally would be the hospital tank. And I need to get a hospital tank at least this big going because if one of the large cichlids needs to go into a hospital tank, they need something at least 29 gallons. I've put them in five and they're, they're pretty cramped. But take a look at what I've got in here. I've got some, uh, some of these red, Serpa, it's really cute little red fish. There's a uh, cherry barb, I've got a few cherry barbs in there. There's a rummy nose, little rummy nose. There's some lemons that are gonna get very yellow as they get older, some lemon tetras. 
There's a couple little green quarries. A couple of these little quarries in here hanging out. And uh, I want to get two or three more. The quarries seem to like hanging out in groups. At any rate, you can see the plants down here. There's a whole variety of them, including some Anubias that I'm going to glue to the background of that eight gallon. There's some Amazon swords. Might be a little bit too big for the eight gallon, but maybe not. Maybe in the maybe the front left side or right side. And uh, just a whole variety of plants, including a real pretty red plant. These plants were from um, from the cichlid shack, and also some of them are from uh, Corey over at the actually Lizzie sent them to me from the aquarium co-op. Pretty nice plants. So those are gonna, those are probably about, I don't know, maybe eight or nine different plants. Those are gonna fill in that horizon along with that black substrate and the gray background. I think it's gonna be very pretty. At any rate, I love these little fish. They're very cute, very interactive. And uh, whenever they think I'm gonna feed them, they all come up. To me, that's always a sign that a fish is healthy if he's, uh, coming up and interacting, not being completely frightened. Any other little fish you think I should get? Certainly a few more uh, of those green quarries just to keep them company. And uh, maybe some additional uh, cherry barbs. I know the cherry barbs do better in bigger groups. And uh, I think I've got plenty of lemon tetras and plenty of embers. They got a bunch of embers in there too. The orangey ones are the ember, ember tetras. The bigger, lighter ones are the are the lemons, and then of course the the red guys with the little black and the white tips on the anal fin are the serpe. So I just wanted to share that with you, let you see that a uh, a big, a big fish guy, a big fish guy can actually fall in love with little fish too. <laughs> and I certainly have, I certainly like those little guys. And if you think there's some I should add to that collection, maybe uh, I'll probably throw some neons in there for sure. Um, I had some neons, but the batch didn't do too well. But uh, maybe pick up some neons. I know some black, uh, black tetras or black neon tetras do really well, they're very hardy. And anything else that you think uh, might do well in that collection of fish I showed you. And uh, again, just like with the South and Central American cichlids, I'm learning as I go. Just like somebody pointed out to me the other day, and I really appreciate it, over here in this tank, somebody was kind enough to point out to me that my Jack Dempsey, named Tom, who is now Tomasita, is actually a female because of the markings around the face and jaw. See, I had no idea about that because South and Central Americans are kind of a new project for me. One of the things I really like about the South and Central Americans and even some of those small community fish is that unlike African cichlids, if you end up with a female, you don't end up with a drab fish necessarily. Both males and females tend to have good color. One of the things I like the most about the uh, South and Central American cichlids. Yeah, she's a beauty. So there you have it. A big fish guy can actually uh, find a place in his heart for smaller fish. <laughs> it is possible. They all don't have to be uh, big, big monsters and uh, big fish. And uh, so I'm looking forward to watching that project develop. I'll keep you posted. I'm going to be gluing down uh, with using some uh, simple super glue, uh, some of the Anubias onto the background of that Higer Horizon 8 gallon. And then I'll be uh, you know, putting in the substrate, dropping some plants into the substrate, using some of the uh, plant fertilizers available from the co-op, like the tabs that go into the uh, substrate and also some of the, some of the uh, liquid vitamins you can use for plants. And hopefully this time, uh, plants that I have in an aquarium are not going to melt like they have in the past. So. My history with plants is not that great, so <laughs> hopefully it'll go better this time. Uh, so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you on Saturday for the Cichlids and Coffee live stream. 
And uh, also, if you like the content of this channel and this video, be sure to hit the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already, the notification bell, and thumbs up. I appreciate that keeps the channel growing and keeps YouTube uh, encouraging other fish keepers to come visit the channel. All right. Thank you, my friends, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye-bye.